Hey what's up guys, it's Mitch. Um, this is going to be a fairly brief beginner's barrows guide for mid-level accounts on 2007 scape. So uh, I used to do a fair bit of barrows back in the original IRS and I'm um, going to give it a go in this for a bit of money, see how I go, uh, see if I can get lucky. And um, yeah, I'm just going to run through some quick gear setups. So when you're at this level, uh, and at this stage of the game, there's no one who's majorly rich, really. Oh, uh, bar some flowers, etc., and merches and all that. But anyway, uh, for the average person, you want to get a hold of a Mystic set. You don't really want the gloves because they give plus three mage bonus, which gives, which is the same as the uh, combat brace. Plus, that will give some range, which you want to use for RM. Uh, to go through the cape slot, you uh, if you've 60 mage or more, you want to use one of the god uh, capes, which you can get from the mage arena in the wilderness. Uh, for your shield slot, uh, after horror the, from the deep, you will want to use one of the books. You can either use unholy, guthics, or saradomins. So the unholy is plus 8 in all attack bonuses, but it's about, at the moment, uh, 1.5 mil for the page set. So it's fairly dear. I uh, don't really have the money to spend on that at the moment, but I'll probably end up getting it. Um, yeah, so that's what you kind of want your layout to you, uh, look like. And you can use... I'm using the highest level bolt spell, but you can also use uh, blasts, of course. Uh, the stronger the better. Also, Slayer Dart is good if you've got the requirements for that, or Magic Dart. Um, yeah, so that's the gear run through. I'll just... Uh, walk through the swamp and show you where to go and how to get there. Alright. Okay guys, so we've now arrived at Bornton, which I will show you where that is on the minimap. Um, yep, so I'll just zoom out, you want to be over here. We've started there, ran through the swamp all the way down to there. You get on the boat, and you'll come down through this stream, and you'll arrive at Morton. And Barrows is just here, so I'll just quickly run over there and we'll begin the trip. Okay guys, so we've arrived at Barrows, uh, I always start at Darok and then go to Varak and then Arim to Torag, Kuril, then Guthan. Uh, doesn't really matter in which order you do it. Uh, I will show you how I do this and um, excuse me if I make any mistakes because I have not done a Barrows run in a fairly long time and this will be my first run on 07 scape, so... Yeah. All right, so you just want to pray melee against Darok uh, for the whole time. You can flick if you're confident with that, but uh, I'm just going to be nice and safe for now. And uh, I'll give you a quick tip about prayer in here. Uh, if you're running low, then let it pretty much get down to zero and because uh, when the faces pop up they drain your prayer so you don't want to be you don't want to like drink up all your prayer potions then you're about to exit the, uh, the little lair and the face pops up and drains your prayer because that's going to waste your prayer potions really quickly so you see Darok's going down fairly quickly and easily there's nothing really to it uh, I'll resume commentary once I get over to Varak And he does hit through prayer, so be aware of that. You're probably going to have to eat a few times on Varak, depending on your armor and levels, etc. And you really want to keep an eye on your prayer when you're... Um, oh, it doesn't matter too much against Varak, but he will hit you hard. See, he's 
So that's just drain my prayer right there. Um, I'm going to eat a couple of sharks right now. Just stay on the safe side. See, they fill up my HP bar fairly quickly because I've only got 56 HP. So you wouldn't want to be on the wrong side of Darok when he's uh, low, low HP with that uh, level HP. But yeah, we've gone through Varak fairly easily in this instance. So hopefully you guys can do that too. Um, yeah, there's not really much stress except for when he hits a 14 like that. And I'm almost done with the kill. Um, down to two prayer points. So I want to pop back up, take the prayer off, uh, move out if I can. It's a bit laggy, these servers at the moment, so I'm now going to go to uh, RM. So I'm putting the old range on because everyone knows uh, Mage is weak to range. So we'll go down, just quickly check the prayer points, HP, yep, it's all good. Go down, and you want to protect against Mage, obviously and you want to attack him and uh, I'm going to use my spec on him because I don't need it for anything else and I am using rune arrows that I got from a fire giant's drop back like right at the start of 07 uh, the accumulator is really great for when you're trying to save arrows and everything so I've come to this trip with only um, only 24 arrows on me and uh, yeah it won't use too many I mean sure if you're going to be doing a fair few trips you don't want to bring I mean you don't want to be taking 20 arrows or so, so you, oh, get off my screen, Dara. Yep, so that's uh, that layer done. Hopefully, we don't get Carol in the tunnels because that could be a bit of a bitch. But I'm um, gonna restore my prayer and go down. And I'm also going to chuck that on. And that's the tunnel Torag. Alright. So now we're going to go into here. I think I'm going to range Carol as well. Not sure how it will go, but I think it will be better than Mage because Mage is weak to range. So we'll go in here and quickly just kill Carol as fast as possible. Hopefully he's not a mega tank. I think he is though, so expect to see a fair few zeros. It might even be advisable just to bring a D-skim or your best melee weapon um, for Varak, I mean, not Varak, sorry, uh, for Carol, because, yeah, obviously he's weak to melee. And, um, this is going to be a bit tedious, hopefully I don't run out and, yeah, I'm going to keep an eye on my prayer like this. So that's pretty much what you want in the back of your mind at all times, is keep an eye on your prayer. I'm probably going to get smited. Yep, been smited like that. So then just calmly drink your prayer potion and put it back up. Uh, no worries there. And yeah, he's a bit of a tank, Carol. Uh, I'm not too sure whether it's better to mage or range him, but I'm going to guess range will do the job. But uh, Darok is intent on smiting me, but that's not going to happen, mate. Um, yeah, so it's not really too hardcore. I mean, we'll get into the tunnels a bit later, and when you're going through tunnels, you don't actually... I'll have to check how it goes because um, running through tunnels... Actually, I've done it on my Zerk before, so that's similar. Uh, G'day to this person. I can't really talk. It's going to distract me. But uh, anyway, he's trying to steal my rune arrows. I'm going to pick those up just before he does. You sneaky bugger. And I've just been smited. So that's all good. We're almost done with Carol here. So, yeah, no stress there. Yeah, uh, this is actually my first run on 07 Scape, like I said before, and uh, there's been no worries so far. No major fails, so that's all good. Uh, also, excuse my commentary skills if they're a bit bad. I have not commentated in a while, uh, but I'm hoping to get into videos a bit more. Also, this is my first guide that I've ever made, so yeah, hopefully it goes down fairly well. Uh, I'm going to re restore my prayer now and uh, go down and kill Guthin. As some people call him Guthin, but I think that sounds quite retarded. Alright, he's going to get a hit. No, there we go. Oh, I'm staff bashing. Lovely. That's the best. Yeah, no, it's little things like that you just got to get used to on um, 07 Escape. But yeah, um, just going to kill him and then I'll show you my run through the uh, tunnels. And as you can see, I've just had a little bit from um, Carol there, but uh, yeah, no worries there. Just keep up the prayer. You'd be right, you can also flick your prayers if you want. Uh, 
like Eagle Eye. I probably should have flicked on Carol because that would have helped a little bit. Um, and Darek's still trying to smite me. You're not going to do it, buddy. But I'm going to drink another pot there. Uh, yeah, Firebolt. Is it Firebolt? Yeah, Firebolt uh, seems to be working fairly well for me. And if you're wondering... No, I didn't buy these Chaos Runes because I'm a bit of a scrooge. I uh, actually camped Harpy Bug Swarms for a little bit for some level 2 clues. It's also great training there at Harpy Bug Swarms because there's a fair few of them. And uh, they're quite aggressive, so the clue scroll drops aren't very common. But uh, yeah, I'm actually going to chuck my, my Dehide on for a bit of extra defense running through the tunnels. And now you don't want to restore prayer before you go into the tunnel. You... Um, because you're going to get smited out easily by all the um, brothers popping up and taking your prayer down. So we're going to enter here and hopefully I don't get ripped too hard because, yeah, I'm just going to have a quick look around and that's my door. So it's advisable to have a bit of agility when you're doing this because your run does run out very quickly during, well, in 07 scape in general. But uh, yeah, so... Let's just hope I've got a quick little run through here. I'm just going to go through this door. Come on. Let's go, buddy. Is that my door? No. Nah. Oh. Let's go through here. Uh, I will just pause the commentary till I get through. Um, and then I'll show you the... I'll leave all the combinations of the doors and stuff uh, at the end of the video. So you can see that. Oh. Uh, no thanks, Torag. I'll fight you at the chest, mate. Alright, so we're going to run through here, and we're going to get our Torag fight on the go. So click your chest, and uh, I'm going to chuck my Mystics back on, and we'll kill Torag. And my Mystics won't wield. So you want to watch your prayer in here, because you've got all the brothers trying to smite you out for your bank. But um, it's also advisable to get 8 kill count, which I haven't done, because... I'm a new, <laughs> but nah, uh, just kill Torag like he's any, any other brother, and jeez, they're intent on using up all my prayer potions, thanks for that, Barrows. Uh, you will, uh, I've heard you will um, break even on money for prayer potions with the runes you receive and etc. That's why it's advisable to get a bit of kill count before you open the chest, but um... Yeah, I'm about to get smited here, so I'm going to drink one more. Hopefully that's the last. But yeah, just slowly kill the brothers. I mean, it's not the quickest thing at this level, but uh, it might be... It's it's good fun. Like It's fairly laid back and good fun. And you've got the chance of uh, getting a bit of loot, so yeah. Could be nice. Oh, jeez, come on. There we go, Torag's down. I'm going to kill this blood worm just quickly. And he's probably going to own me, to be honest. But we'll see how we go. Come on. And uh, after we get the blood worm, I'm going to loot the chest and we'll see how we go. So, yeah, I've seen a lot of people um, not looking at their inventory and etc. But there we go. Haven't really got anything good from that. But a uh, fair few runes. Not too bad, I should have got the kill count, but yeah, that's uh, my Barrow's Guide, and I uh, hope you enjoyed, hope it helped you out. And here are the pictures that I was just talking about. Uh, hope you guys learned a fair bit about it, and um, yeah, if you did, then leave a comment if you want, uh, rate it, and uh, subscribe, that'd be great. Cheers guys, I'll catch you later.